Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dorr and today we're talking about how INFPs deal with a crisis. Now I'm making this video to talk about just what INFPs do and how they tend to experience these kind of situations. And I want to start off by saying I'm perfectly prepared. I have everything I need at the moment. I have all the toilet paper in the world. Tomorrow I'm gonna make toilet soup and uh, tomorrow the day after I'm gonna make toilet paper pizza. I am ready for the crisis. I am stocked up and prepared. But what is it like being an INFP in these times? How do you deal with these kind of situations? And what do you do and how do you feel and how do you deal with all the feelings that are going on around you? Because I know INFPs are very empathetic people. INFPs are people that pick up on the emotions of everyone around them and they are people that spend a lot of time processing the feelings of other people. A lot of time it's like INFPs feel they are the ones that have to process the feelings of other people because nobody else is going to do it. Nobody else is going to think about what Bob is thinking or feeling at the moment. Nobody else is going to reflect on what people in China are doing or how they are experiencing this. Nobody else is going to reflect on the anger or outcry or fears of the community. INFPs are the types that tend to absorb the emotions of other people and process and reflect on these emotions. So obviously in these kind of situations, INFPs will have a lot going on for them. They have a lot, a lot of different feelings and uh, nerves uh, out in the world. They'll have a lot of antennas spread out into different people in their life, family, friends, and people above and beyond that stage. So INFPs will be thinking about a lot of these things and how are people feeling and why are they feeling that way and yeah, what made them feel that way and what can you do about these feelings and how can you live with those kind of existential questions. I mean INFPs they are very existentially oriented so they spend a lot of time uh, trying to make sense of existence, trying to find a light spot, the positive in every bad situation. What can we do? How can we come out in this in a positive way? What can we do to feel sane and to feel healthy and happy during these kind of times? And INFPs want to be able to explain these things, like the, all the things that people go through, sickness, disease, death. INFPs want to understand all of these things and find it very hard to not understand these things and to not know what they mean and to not realize what's going on, to not have a grasp on the situation. So INFPs will find themselves feeling a lot more introspective now than they usually do. They'll find themselves... Uh, potentially clinging to a bit of naivety about the situation. A lot of INFPs will want to grasp for the easy solution, the easy answer, because they want to be positive. They want to think things are going in the right direction. They want to feel that everything is going to be okay. So INFPs are people that are going to look for the bright spot in every situation. So they'll be thinking about, okay, this country is doing well. Oh, they cured Corona. A new vaccine is coming out tomorrow, apparently, according to these researchers. So INFPs will want to sometimes grab for whatever light point they can find. And be careful there that you're not just grabbing for straws or easy disappointments. Because if tomorrow isn't going to be that nice and if... Uh, you were wrong and if you were too optimistic, yeah, that can be uh, lead to a bit of disappointment and to a bit of unnecessary pain and hardship. So try to make peace off and understand that some things are not going to be resolved very quickly and things are going to take longer time than what we expect or what it sounds. And uh, my optimism is something positive and I should seek to stay optimistic, but I should stay patient in my optimism and I should not uh, um, expect too much of the future or expect things to go too much in the right direction. When you're intuitive, it can always lead to that, you know, wanting to expect the best and wanting to see the greatest future, wanting to uh, feel that things are going the right direction and wanting to visualize the best case scenario. So there can be a fixation with searching for this best case scenario as an INFP, you know, and wanting to share this best case scenario with other people and wanting to pre pre present it to others. Hey, look, here is the best case scenario. Hey, there is the positive. Hey, this is where we should be going. And so as an INFP, 
be that kind of person, be the person that tries to get people to envision and think bigger and think brighter and think more positively about the situation and think about the small things you can do, the small ideas, the small steps, the small things you can say, the uh, small positives and share that with the world because we do need to hear that at this point. We do need to hear about the, the small acts of kindness, the good things that are being done in the community, the positives of how people overcome difficulties and how people overcome the issues that we are facing today. So. Just be that kind of person and uh, be that for other people because that's something great and that's uh, how an INFP can save the world. You can get us to think more positively about the difficulty. As an INFP, it's also important to tune out a little bit the noise that you have around you right now because there is too much noise at the moment and there is too much extroverted sensing and extroverted sensing is very stressful to an INFP. So is extroverted thinking. So any form of drama or conflict or anger or panic or extreme intense reactions at the moment, you know, any kind of battles about toilet paper, any kind of... Uh, uh, conflicts between different political leaders and uh, different parties, any kind of drama or tension between different uh, local governments. Try to tune out of that for a little bit and uh, you understand, you know, there's a golden rule, you know. There are things you have to be aware of and there are criticisms that have to be raised and there are things that have to be said and the INFPs are very honest and should try to speak out about those things. But uh, there are also things that don't have to be said and there are stones that don't have to be thrown. So uh, there are also like uh, hardships that do not have to be faced. So we don't have to get ourselves overwhelmed by constantly reading about every number, every si single article that we hear online, every single dramatic opinion piece on every single newspaper. You don't have to hear and absorb all these things. And you should focus uh, on uh, the things that you have to hear because there are stories that have to be heard, bad examples, bad scenarios, difficulties that have to be listened to. And there are those that don't have to be listened to, those that are just uh, uh, erratic voices of somebody who is a bit afraid or a bit hurt, you know, or somebody who has misunderstood the situation or somebody who comes straight out of Russia's troll factories. So you don't have to listen to everything. You can focus your ears and attention to those things that deserve your attention. And most importantly, I would say, listen to friends and family members. That's the, what I would say. Look and listen to your leaders, your friends and family members, and those in your community that are hurting. That's the kind of negative attention and drama and struggle that you have to be able to face. You have to be able to help people who are hurting in your local area, but you don't have to hear about every single conflict that's going on in the world right now. So focus your attention on that. Otherwise, you are going to feel too overwhelmed and stressed at the moment. And yeah, this situation, you know, everything that's happening right now, it's not just... Uh, health crisis it's a mental health crisis because we have suddenly so many people locked up in their homes afraid or uncertain about the future so many people who are risking losing their jobs so many people who are in really bad situations at the moment so you have to try to focus on what you can do best as an INFP and INFPs are amazing at providing and bettering mental health. I mean, that might sound crazy to hear, but INFPs are ideal counselors and are great at providing a listening ear to other people. And INFPs are really emotional sponges that uh, help us all comprehend very difficult experiences. So as an INFP, focus on the mental health positives that you can contribute to the world. You know, the things you can do to help people who are hurting or struggling or who are having bad experiences because of what's happening. And especially focus on what, like I said, family members, friends and people in your close community. And um, in this, you know, INFPs, they are and should always be about self-care. Self-care is... Uh, extremely important when you're an INFP and you have to really look at yourself and your own feelings and your own values and your own needs in the situation and there's nothing wrong with thinking about those things there's nothing wrong with thinking about yourself at this point think about what you can do in your home environment if you're working from home how can you make yourself more comfy 
If you are bored, what can you do to entertain yourself? If you are um, a bit uneasy about your future or your workplace, what new skills can I learn to prepare if I lose my jobs? What new things could I do? Uh, what uh, could I better in myself at the moment? What new languages could I learn? What new skills or tasks could help me move on in the future? So start thinking about the future because say, that's something um, INFP is very good at, thinking about your next steps. So try to be your best to think about your next steps and try to avoid the uh, Netflix and chill hole. So avoid a Netflix hole where you basically just fade out your time and uh, hide into uh, like a positive reality and where you tune out everything. Avoid tuning out everything and uh, tune into the right things. Tune into things that make you happy and tune into things that teach you something and that at the same time help you to grow and to move forward in your life. And uh, tune into things that make your days feel worthwhile because, you know, there, there are some things, you know, it comes to living which are so important. And that's like being able to make your bed every day. Those are being able to do the dishes. Those are being able to... Uh, like clean your house or to vacuum you know today those things are essential to mental health and well-being you know doing and taking care of your own home and your environment watering your flowers and uh, taking care of your daily chores and necessities and uh, making sure those things are out of the way because the gratification you get from those things are immense in these times if you're not even able to do those things you're gonna feel like shit if you're not going to be able to even take care of your very essentials at this point, uh, that's going to be a black hole for you as an INFP. So what are your tips as an INFP? How, would you, how are you currently dealing with this? And uh, what are your recommendations for INFPs right now? Leave your comments down below and I hope to see you all in the next video.